Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Saturday, November 14th. Before we get into today's play, that a quick recap of what happened yesterday. Yesterday, we ended up giving out a look at parlay in the NFL on a money line parlay two pick. So if you have not checked out the video, you can do so. That should be the video right before this one. But for today's play of the day, we're going to be looking at a college football matchup, and it will be a matchup in the Mountain West between Nevada and New Mexico. Some of you might know that Nevada has been my secret cash cow so far this season because I have had money on them covering the spread in each of the last two weeks, and they have done so pretty easily. Now, for this matchup, Nevada's 3-0, of course. They're going up against New Mexico, who is 0-2, and the spread in this game is minus 17. We're going to be taking that on DraftKings at minus 112, a time recording of, sat- of uh, Saturday 3.16 a.m. Eastern time. Now, a couple reasons why I like Nevada in the spot. First of all, the line ended up opening at Nevada minus 14. Now it's up to uh, Nevada minus 17. A couple reasons as to why. First of all, the game is not going to be played in New Mexico. Even though New Mexico is listed as the home team because of some COVID outbreaks in the actual state, the game has been moved to uh, the UNLV stadium. So New Mexico is going to be at home or the home team against Nevada, and the game's going to be taking place in Nevada. So there is no home field advantage whatsoever. I don't think there's going to be any fans in attendance at all, but Nevada should definitely uh, at least cancel out any home field advantage and even gain some on their own because they're going to be playing in their own home state, which should help travel purposes. But for the main reason why this line has moved, it's because of the fact that New Mexico is going to be without their starting quarterback for this game. If you've looked at New Mexico this season, they have been awful defensively and pretty solid offensively. But the main issue you have is that they currently have starting quarterback Tavaki uh, Tuioti who has been very good so far this season, but he is out of this game with a concussion. And as a result, they will be using a backup. And the backup, who they're going to be using, is not very good. As he ended up playing a little bit in relief in the second half against Hawaii, and he was awful as Trey Hall went two for six for 39 yards, one interception, no touchdowns, QBR of 2.8. And now he's going to be the starting quarterback for this matchup. New Mexico has been okay against the ground, but – in terms of their pass, at, uh, pass defense, it has been absolutely terrible. And Hawaii last week ended up throwing for 410 yards. Now they have to face off against Carson Strong. Carson Strong is putting up some of the most impressive stats in a uh, non-Power 5 conference, if you look at his numbers. As Strong has been throwing the ball all the time. Nevada kind of runs a very similar air raid style to a, a Mike Leach situation where they throw the ball a lot. He has nine touchdowns, zero interceptions, over 1,100 yards. Last week, for example, he ended up having three touchdowns, zero interceptions, 411 yards against Utah State. The week before that, he had 350 yards, two touchdowns and no picks against UNLV. And the week before that, he had 420 yards with four passing touchdowns and zero interceptions. So I expect Nevada to absolutely torch this New Mexico secondary, which has been practically useless all season long, as New Mexico is allowing a whopping 445.5 passing yards per game. Nevada's never really going to run the ball. They might occasionally change pace, but New Mexico's giving up roughly 450 passing yards, and they're going up against the best quarterback they've faced all season long. Nevada scored 37 against uh, Wyoming, 37 against UNLV, 34 against Utah State, and they were awful in the first quarter of that game. They can easily go for 40 in this spot because giving up 38 points and 39 points to Hawaii uh, and uh, San Jose State is unacceptable. And Nevada's defense giving up 20 points per game, they've been pretty solid. I think New Mexico with a backup quarterback should struggle offensively. I think that New Mexico should probably score around 17 points, give or take. They do have a good ground game, but Wyoming's only allowing 121 rushing yards per game. I think they'll stack the box, take care of business there. And through the air, Strong should do whatever he wants. I expect Dallas to have a pretty solid game in the receiving core as he has 473 receiving yards and uh, and five receiving touchdowns. So I think Strong should go for five touchdowns or so. I think Wyoming should go for 40-plus. I think New Mexico should go for about 17. And I think Nevada should coast to a pretty easy victory in this uh, neutral site technical road game. So once again, the play of the day here on Saturday, November 14th, is going to be on the Nevada Wolfpack, minus 17, which is available on DraftKings at minus 112. That's been the Stalmer Scott Selections. Good luck to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.